Hello, YouTubers! Welcome back to Pancrazy Studio. Today, I bring you Make Toys Remaster Series Gun Dog. Gun Dog obviously is Make Toys interpretation of G1 Hound, one of the most iconic Transformers ever in G1 series. And this time, Make Toys makes at least two versions. This version I'm reviewing now is based on the G1 cartoon color, and another one is totally based on the G1 toy deco. The differences are much more obvious and significant than I expected. You can check on one side of the cover there is a cartoon based color, on the other side is the version based on G1 toy painting. The G1 toy style painting is like a darker metallic grain compared to the cartoon version. And it also includes chrome, a lot of chrome. Painting details vary as well, especially the forearm and front wheel fenders. So it all comes down to personal preference, I guess. Just like any other products from Make Toys, Hound looks amazing in his robot mode. It's pretty heavy and solid because of the die cast parts, especially in his legs. It's well balanced, and the head sculpt is quite G1 accurate. There is no light piping for the eyes due to the structure, but all the detailed paintings were well executed. As mentioned, the front wheel fenders, the painting jobs are different for the two versions. Missile launchers, that's one of the iconic weapons for Hound. The paintings on the forearms are also different for the two versions. The limbs are well proportioned. The legs are actually um, quite bulky or juicy feeling, especially considering the die cast involved and all the painting jobs feel glossy. Um, the, from the side views, the head is a little bit on the back side, but still I can live with that, it's quite minor. The feet are quite huge, plus the die cast, so this is a solid and stable standing figure. There's no backpack for gun dog, but for the lower legs, you can obviously see the seats for the vehicle. And talking to the extra wheel, you can of course take it off. The star on it somehow reminds me of the shield carried by Captain America. The articulation is pretty standard and quite masterpiece-ish. The head is of course on a ball joint, and the shoulder cannons you can lift up and down, but in order to lift it up, you have to adjust the windshield from the back. And for the arms, it's rotation 360, no problem. You can lift it up. The joints here reminds me of the Headmaster series from Fans Project. Bicep swivel, elbow can bend about 90 degrees, and forearms can be collapsed. That's due to transformation. The hands is pretty standard masterpiece hand. You can form a solid fist. The four fingers move together, and you can hold the weapons just like any other masterpiece toys. Because the sum is solid, you cannot move it unless you break it, so it can be hard and tricky to force the weapon into the hand. Rotation on the waist is very smooth. There is also a bending motion on the upper torso, which makes this hound nail some relatively dynamic poses, considering his blocky profile. Universal joints on the hips, which are functional and also quite strong considering the solid and die cast piece on the lower leg. Swivel on the side, Bending knees, of course you have to adjust the seat on the back of the lower legs. There are dual joints on the knee, so you can bend it in whichever way you like. The feet are huge and also well articulated, so either straight standing pose or wide standing pose, the huge feet support the figure without any issue. box, which is a great homage to its G1 ancestor, can be well stored on its foot, but it can be very tricky, especially considering there are so many holes on the back of the toolbox, but once attached, it's pretty solid. Another weapon is like a machine gun, it can be attached on the forearm, which of course a big giant robot always needs a gun or a missile on its forearm, I don't know why. Standing next to Masterpiece Blue Streak. The scale is about right. 
and the details, the painting jobs, the overall style can fit into the masterpiece toy line very well. Another third-party product's homage to G1 Mirage, they look very nice together. The transformation for Gun Dog is pretty straightforward. First of all, you have to take off all the accessories, the toolbox, the extra wheel, the missile launchers on the shoulders, and you have to somehow level down the front wheel fenders, and then you can flip up the hood, you can see the hat go right through the hole on the hood, and from the back, the two arms are then free. And uh, you can see from the whole transformation process, there are a lot of flipping, twisting, collapsing, a lot of which are well and logically arranged. And also very importantly, it's accurate in terms of the connection between the pack and pack holes. Unlike many other toys, which takes a huge amount of effort, sometimes pain on the butt, to lock two panels together. For this one, if you transform everything in a logical manner, it shouldn't take too much effort. And what you have just the same for the front wheel rotation and transformation might be the most tricky session in the whole transformation process. And then everything is quite straightforward. You rotate and hide the head in the chest, turn the arms as such to cover the head, and this part you will see some Chinese subtitles because that's something I did not show very clearly in this video. You can see I extend the forearms, but I do not collapse it as the elbow portion. And you should do that. If you don't do that, later on you will find the packs on the arms cannot be perfectly aligned with the pack holes on the legs and on the crotch base. You basically unlock every panel on the lower body, and I highly suggest not packing the two legs together until flipping them into the right position because, at least for me, that's much easier to handle. By locking the arms and the legs together, basically you form the core session of the Jeep and then only left some detailed arrangements to be done. On the side, for this panel, it's like a door for the Jeep. It's a little bit tricky. You have to take care and align them on both sides almost simultaneously but plastic feels quite durable and uh, flexible enough for you to wiggle a bit, find the right spot, and press on. And then you will need to adjust the front wheel well to make it align perfectly. Same thing happens on the other side, and then the last thing you need to do to finish the transformation is to lift up the rear bumper. Okay, transformation is complete. The robot mode, as I said, looks amazing, and the vehicle mode looks even better. It's quite solid, and size-wise, it can stand and scales almost perfect next to the official masterpiece toy. In vehicle mode, Hound, or Gundog, is a military jeep, which is very nicely sculpted, especially checking out from the front. It's just so realistic looking, like a Second World War military jeep. I guess with the chrome parts and darker metallic grain, the other version might look even better. And rubber tires apply, which makes this Jeep roll pretty nice, pretty smooth, and very quiet. The rear lights are all painted in red, which is a nice touch, I guess. Checking the figure from the top or bottom view, you will see a gap in the central part, but I guess seldom does any of us will check toy from such an angle. The panel on the side, I guess, serving as a standpoint for you to step into the Jeep, which is a nice detail. And of course, for all the weapons and accessories, you can mount it on this Jeep. It's a military Jeep and also a multifunctional monster. And again, the star on the extra wheel somehow reminds me of the shield, which now I cannot unsee. If you want to step forward and making this Jeep a moving arsenal, no problem. You can mount it, the shoulder cannons or the missile launchers, even the big rifle or pistol for the robot onto the trunk of this Jeep. There are a lot of masterpiece scale figures. However, not all of them can well fit an official MP toy line in terms of style. This gun dog is quite exceptional, considering almost all other third-party MP scale toys take the Studio Ox style. This one looks very clean in both modes, just like the MP figures from Takara Tommy. I know, there are more Hounds-related figures coming, such as TFC and Fans toys, 
and I do not know which will be the best so far. But what I do know now is this gun dog from Make Toys will be hard to beat. <laughs>